Good morning, friends. Uh, now start with another. Uh, actually, again come with the SAP, a new topic in the SAP. Uh, we have learned till now uh, regarding data dictionary part. We have completed. We have completed about the programming, my mental programming concept, reports, and all. Uh, now the next topic is the SAP Smart Form. See, actually, what happened in the SAP? Uh, we have the while we are doing some printing work, my mental say. Just like if I uh, <clears throat> print the invoice, we have created the invoice for the company. We have cre created the David memo, credit David memo, credit memo, or something else which we want in a print form. The, at that time, we are using smart form, smart form, and SAP script. There is a two tool in the SAP which is called SAP smart form and SAP script. These two tools basically used to print the anything, just like invoice. David memo and credit memo, sales document, anything, what, whatever you want to print, you can print. But before that, you need to give some. <clears throat> uh, my mind to say, you need to give some criteria what, uh, which in which form you want to print the uh, in uh, sales. My mind to say, your invoice, just like if you want to give some header, just like basically the uh, the concept of invoice, like starting with the name of the your company, and the in the left side your. Uh, in the table form, you need to write your material. You need to write your material cost in unit set, unit then quantity then total. This kind of scenario basically we are following in the invoice. So the, the same way we can print in this SAP smart form. Uh, basically we need to create table and all the things. We will look out over here. How to do the how to do the technical and how we will print each and everything. We'll see over here. See, this is the agenda what we are going to learn in the SAP. So first we will see the smart form overview. <coughs> overview about the smart form. Then how we using the SAP form builder. Then form elements, flow control and integration into application program. How to integrate with the application program. We will see these things over here. 
So starting with the SAP Smart Form overview, what exactly the SAP Smart Form? How can we uh, work with the SAP Smart Form? What exactly the overview of this? We will see over here. So SAP Smart Form overview. So every company regularly needs to print large number of documents with a consistent design, such as invoices or delivery notes. See each and every company uh, either when they have uh, some vendor or they have some customer. So for the customer, <clears throat> they are printing some invoices, uh, uh, debit memo, credit memo, some sales document or some other documents. Same way as well as for customer, for vendor, they are printing some invoices and all. For that purpose, if the company has implemented the SAP, so they, they do not want to give the their customer or their vendor the invoices or some other printing documents in the word form that they are uh, some person they want to sit over there and they want to write each and everything in the Microsoft Word and print out. The company do not want this because if the everything we have done in the SAP, why not we will take the advantage of SAP to print those things from the SAP itself. So the company are looking for something uh, in the design form, a good design, a good design pattern and they will get each and everything through the SAP only. So the uh, SAP has provided this kind of facility to the their customer so they can <coughs> print their invoices or some other delivery notes or some other whatever the print uh, they want in the print form so as per the R3 this is a uh, version 4.6c SAP provide the tool for form processing which is SAP <coughs> smart form so this is the SAP smart form basically it's a tool to give you the invoices and all so uh, the uh, for the purpose of the developer basically the t code what we have used for the smart form is the smart form itself so in the smart form when you are writing a smart form in the t code it will give you the smart form page and where you need to write your smart form name and you can go inside we'll see in the next slides see this is the SAP, this is the <clears throat> your uh, something uh, printing document my means of printer uh, pages and it will go inside a smart form this is a smart form concept and it will give you the output in the form of invoices so this is the SAP smart form which sh shown over here so they they have give you it's a kind of understanding how this is the printing pages and we are we, we are going to give into the SAP and it will give you the output in the invoice form so SAP smart form has uh, <coughs> smart form can communicate with anything it can come <coughs> sorry it can communicate with the SRM CRM customer relationship management finance HR some industry solution anything so here it is showing that SAP smart form can communicate with the anything either they can communicate with the smart, uh, smart SRM CRM, finance, HR, there is a lot of other things there we can see SD, sales and distribution, they can work with the MM, PP, production and planning, so it can work with the anything. So from anywhere, if the SRM want to give some printing, so they can communicate with the SAP, the CRM, they can communicate with the SAP, finance, most of the time, finance, we want some, some chart of account or all the things though so that we can if they want to print so we can print with the help of a smart form HR they want to print some uh, my windows a salary slip or some other thing so they can print with this smart form and uh, other industries like in the SD side they want to print invoices debit memo credit memo so they can they can uh, communicate with the SAP smart form and they can print it out the same way <coughs> MMMPP is also work so this is the process see <clears throat> this is the smart form uh, it's a print kind of thing uh, pages and here you can see this is the form of this my, my mentor this is the design what exactly uh, end user is looking for they want here their company logo obviously in the smart uh, in the invoices uh, most of the company are using their logo if they have their logo so they are using their logo then they are they are using address addresses the company addresses they are here they are using invoices details what they want in the main page and footer in the main page they want uh, in the tabular form in the table form they will give you the details of your material and the quantity and their 
rates and etc in the footer side they will give you some terms and condition what they want to written that payment should be done in the 30 days and whatever the condition they want they can give over here in the footer so this is a kind of design basically <coughs> what the sap uh, my manager user is looking for this is the kind of design basically <coughs> Uh, the design may be differ with the company to company might be some company do not want the logo should be printed in the in their invoices so we can remove the logo and might be some company want to print the logo there <coughs> each and every pages so might be uh, uh, invoices not in one page they are in mo more than one pages so company what this uh, logo should be print each and every pages so we can work accordingly we can choose the path and we can do accordingly and these things we can design through only a smart form there is a concept called a tabular form each and every there is a main page there is a lot of things in which we can design this kind of smart form and after that this is smart form connect with some reports in the report we are fetching the data from the different different table for fill these call uh, for fill these details and it will show you the output like this this is the output here you can see this is the logo of the company fly and something this is the address of the company here they have written address here they have given you the invoice detail telephone number fax and all the things and you can see that here they have given you some <coughs> text and they have given you the uh, uh, just like a uh, number number and they have given you the material name or whatever then they have given the rate, quantity and total price. Thank you, uh, regards thankfully and name of the person who is sending the invoice. And here in the footer they have given you the, <coughs> see here it is customer address or vendor address. Here they have given you their own address. So this is the way a company can give uh, the way they have presented this or they can follow some other thing just like they, uh, they want to give <coughs> In the most of the company in the footer they want to give some terms and condition that uh, the, uh, while uh, reaching the inverse at your place within a ten, 10 days or 20 days we need a payment so this kind of things uh, they can write over here if the payment should the payment will be late then we have to charge of 1% or 2% the penalty like that they will write a note over here so this is the kind of uh, view what I want to set in your mind what exactly the smart form and how it is printing out see the smart form overview so these uh, the builder smart form builder what exactly the smart sap smart form builder what where what size how often where where form so this is the actually when you run this smart form when you're going to execute this smart form it will generate the function module so it is generated function model this is kind of function module and it is <coughs> give you some <coughs> random number just like don't uh, take this uh, this is the uh, smart form uh, oh, sorry function module this is the function module uh, function model we will see when we are going to learn about the function model basically just keep in mind this is the function model that's it so this is the function module basically there is a transaction code se37 in which we can see the function module itself so the function model we can see uh, in the SC37 transaction and we can check it out what exactly the code will auto automatically generated in the function module while we are writing something in the smart form the code is automatically generated in the function module and in the function module we can put our if we are getting some issue in the smart form that suppose in the previous uh, I'm going to in the previous site suppose in the address address is not printing properly my mean to say uh, the address I need to give from New York and New York and it is give, given somewhere as Chicago and something else so we need to find out <coughs> why it is taking a wrong address so for that we can go in the fu uh, function model and we can check it out why it is giving the wrong function model my mean why it is giving the wrong address word there so we can put our debug point over there and we can easily recognize that so this is kind of a function model it is it has been generated while we are executing the smart form so every time if you're doing some changes in the smart form so each and every time function model has been changed so each and every time it is generated a new function model and each and every time the when the function model has been generated it will give you the result one second
will give you some result so let's see next slide so this is the overview i have given you the, i have given the overview of your smartphone what exactly the smartphone why we need this smartphone how it is work and these things so we have completed the overview part of the smartphone now we are you uh, going to the next topic using the sap form builder how we build a form builder how we will uh, uh, learn the sap things or how we work on the sap smartphone each and everything we will going to learn over here so you say sap using uh, sap form builder you use the sap form builder to create and adjust form basically form builder uh, it will give you the scenario in which you can either create or adjust sometimes what happen while you creating a smart uh, invoice or something sometimes you are in the design uh, sometimes alignment there is an al difference in the alignment my mind is a uh, your line your uh, table table will go shifted right side or shifted towards left side or shifted towards up or shifted towards down which is overlapping with some some else some something else so at the time what happen we will go in the form builder and we will check where exactly we are getting the issue and according to that we will <clears throat> try to adjust our table uh, table so it so so the overlapping uh because something or uh, it is overlapping with someone else so it will i can say that it will uh, gone to from there and it will not going to overlap it again that later or that particular sentence so that part we can uh, we can solve with the help of sap form builder and here to call the initial screen of the sap smart form maintaining transactions so you can see that i have told you if you want to do something in a smart form basically we will start with the Uh, t code which is called sap uh, sorry smart forms s m a r t f o r m s this is the word itself my mind is the smart form itself is a t code which basically we can use to uh, login uh, for the smart form and there is a menu path basically the tools then form painter and the smart form these things we can see these two way you can directly uh, this is the way you can where uh, in which you can directly reach to the smart form and <coughs> in the menu path you can see the tools form painter and uh, form printout and smart form you can uh, go with the some menu path they have given you the menu path as well as from here you can directly open the smart form with the help of t code and here you need to follow the path so there is a path in which you have to go and you can open the smart form see this is a smart form here if you're going to write your uh, this is the way uh, place where you can write your t code so you have to write over here smart form so it will open this screen it is open directly to this screen so there is a three uh, radio buttons you can see that form style and text module so here uh, first of all we are going to write our form name so uh, if you want to create a form so first you need to write your form name just like they have written bc470 minus stept so they have created one form they want to create one form so you can see that there is a three button one is display second is change third is create so if you want to create the form you can give your name so always remember when you are going to create your own smart form i mean to say customize smart form record the customer has required something and you want to create some customized smart form it is always start with the z or y so always remember that might be this is the standard something so that's why they have used bc470 underscore stpt but in the uh, customized we always use the z in place of this so always z whatever you want if you want to print uh, create a smart form for some company you can write z that company name and their location whatever the way you want to create you can create and the thing if the uh, smart form is already there in the system so you can use a display button so you can check it out if there is some issue so with the help of that <coughs> display in the display form you can check it out in the change if you want to do some changes in the smart form then you have to use this button change and if you want to create the smart form there is a, another button which is basically create the smart form and then we have a test so this is basically used for test so if you are going to uh, click on this it will directly open your screen my mind is a 
print form where you can see your print and this is the <coughs> copy button copy button in the sense if you want to copy some standard smart form if you want to copy if you want to create one smart form uh, uh, which is already there but you want to do some changes so why we need to create a new smart form what we will do we will copy this the same smart form and we will uh, do our own changes whatever the requirement is or we can add that requirement and we can do according to that so there is an option for copy also so if you want to copy this is smart form this is a standard one because it is not used z so you can copy this a smart form with the help of this and uh, you can give the name of z pc 7470 minus stpt and un on that Z smart form, you can do the changes, whatever the changes you want to require. So, so this is the basic screen of the smart form. And there is one button which is delete. If you want to delete any smart form, so this button has been used. When you're going to click this, it will ask you, are you sure you want to delete this smart form? If you're going to click OK, so it is gone. It will delete that smart form anyhow. So this is the basically first screen of the smart form where you have a three radio buttons and the all three radio button you can give first we will see these two radio buttons in the letter but first initially give you the smart form we have three but, uh, uh, buttons in which we can display the smart form change and create and after that we have a, some menu option over here we will, uh, we will use this menu option for different different purposes see this is when you go in this uh, see they have created the you can see See here the name of the form BC 470 S step, but they have created, they have copied this smart form from here and they created Z smart form. So you can see that Z BC 470 minus STEPT. So they have created their own smart form. <clears throat> they want to do some changes in the standard smart form. So they have created their own smart form. You can see this is form, it is showing the smart form name over here. When you're going to, uh, when you're going to inside this, sorry, one second. When you're going to inside, if you're going to change, if you'll put the change, if you click on the change, it will show you this, this screen. It will come into the this screen. So the, the next screen, it will show you the different, different windows. This is called windows. These all called, this part is called navigation tree. This is the navigation tree. This is the maintenance screen and this is the form painter. There is a three thing in the smartphone, always remember. This is the navigation tree. In the navigation tree, we have a different, different windows. This is called windows. And the, in the maintenance screen, when you're going to click that particular window, it will show you the, that particular screen over here. So it is called maintenance screen. And here in the right side, we have a form painter in which we can see the actu actual output of the form in which way we, we need to present and in which way we need to form. Right. So here you can see that we have a form name. We have a global setting. In the global setting, what we are doing, we are writing we are giving over here some our uh, variables we are giving our variables just like if we want to create some variable we are uh, giving the variables in the global setting then we have a pages and windows you can see that these are the pages so first page first first page you can see this is the first first page then we finish after that we have a logo so here we can upload a logo of the company so you can see over here this is a fly and a smile this is the company logo over here so this logo coming because of this we have added the logo over here and we have given the um, we have given the alignment in the logo of the alignment of the logo that this logo should be print over here so it is giving the logo over here then we have a maintain window so you can see that this is the main, uh, window which is basically maintain over here then we have an intro form of the address this is the address then address this is the address over here the info clerk here we have a sender address this is the center at the next page in the next page we can give something else so this is the main window this is the main window basically and in the main window we can give you a lot of things just like in the main window here we want to give a table in which i want to give the material so, uh, we will what i will do i will bifurcate the main window in a uh, table form and in the table form first uh, first column should be um, serial number Second column should be material name, third column should be quantity, fourth column should be unit price, fifth column should be final price. So what I will do, I will write the material number one. Suppose I want to 
metal one is computer uh, desktop so i will write desktop quantity 10 quantity 10 and price of one desktop is 10000 so 10000 into 10 it's 1 lakh so 1 lakh price we will write over here and after that here we are writing uh, just like uh, in the when you are going to this into the customer so you have to charge VAT so we are charging VAT on 1 lakh rupees just like 12 percent of VAT so 12 percent of 1 lakh 1 lakh 12,000 <coughs> we have another set so whatever the charges we need to charge us like VAT or other sets so we can write over here and the grand total should be come over here so here we will see the grand total in the grand total it is additional of your uh, initial price then your uh, charges is like says some VAT and all the things we, it will charge over here and it will show you the grand total over here this is the way <coughs> you can show the this is the way you can write the uh, you can see the smart form window this is the smart form basically smart form window so we can we have seen that again i'm repeating we have seen the different uh, this is the change form name in which you want to change uh, this is the navigation tree this is the maintenance screen form builder basically form builder is coming over here when you're going to click this form click on the form builder it will show you <coughs> one pop-up window will come <coughs> and it will show you the this is the form form type this is show you the form kind of form and here you can see some uh, menu buttons in which this is a check when you complete your uh, work when you have done changes according to the requirement when you're going to click this it will if there is some error so it will give you the error that there is something error otherwise it will show you green signal then after that you have to activate so this is the activate button you have to activate the smart form after act activating the smart form if you're going to click this it will test ready for test and there is one other thing which I have we have discussed right now. Uh, the thing is uh, uh, function module. So basically, all the code what you have write over you see in the in the each and every screen we have to write some code for just like I want to, for address. So there is an address uh, window. In the address window there is uh, another uh, in the address window there is one sub window which is called code window in the code window we are writing the code for the, to fetching the data for the address so here basically we are using the in the code window we are using basically the sql query in the sql query we are fetching the data from the particular table of that particular customer address for, for that particular customer address and we will show over here so uh, when you are fetching the data obviously you are going to put that data in some variable so that variable should be declared over global setting just like w underscore address type addrs whatever so you have you need to show the variable over in the uh, global setting and in the address window there is one another uh, window which we are going to basically use for this to show the address so we are what we are doing we are writing there w underscore ad uh, address so that address has been shown over here so this is the way I have told you a single <coughs> address for address the same way we are uh, using the sender in the sender side we have two uh, sub windows in which in, in one window we are writing a code for fetching the address of the sender and in the other side we are writing the w underscore sender variable which basically show these things so here in the, the the w underscore sender we need to again uh, declare over in the global setting so this is the way we are writing our code and we are doing uh, we are uh, <coughs> fetching the data for different different windows and it will showing in the output so this is the part of the form builder you can see this is the form of the for, for, for form builder again there is a save button back button exit button and this is a close button so you can see that this is the form see again you can see the navigation tree in the navigation tree in initial what we have seen here in the navigation tree this is the navigation tree so we have more <coughs> give you the more enhancement of the navigation tree so you can see the global setting in the global setting we have three things form attribute form interface and global definition 
so in the global definition what we are doing all the data whatever we have what where we are going to declare what uh, variable declare all the custom uh, all the things we are going to define in the global setting so in the global setting we are writing each and every the uh, variable then we have a page and page window what i have shown you so the first page we have completed over here if you, there is a second page we can give you the second page over here <coughs> but in the first page what i want i want to address and company logo so you can see that there is different three types of direct sub notes of a page so this is these are the sub notes of the page this is the sub notes so you can see that in the address window we are basically i i have shown you previous in the address window this is the address window over here so in the address window basically we are writing our code to fetch the data for of, of that particular customer uh, and we are declaring some variable to store the data that uh, when you are going to fetch the data obviously there is something uh, we uh, some memory required to store that data so we are basically using some variable to store the data so here i am storing the data then we have a logo company window company logo window what it will do it will uh, basically here you can see that logo company window this is showing you the logo so basically for logo obviously we required some logo in the system so first if you don't have a logo in the system then you have to ask a logo of, <coughs> of that company and you have to add the logo into your system or upload the logo into the system so what the developer will do developer ask to the functional who is the functional who is take care of this so he will give you the logo he or she will give you the logo and you have to upload the logo into the system there is a t code uh, which is called sc78 basically that logo uh, my, if we uh, if we are getting the time we will go uh, we will i will show you how to upload a logo in the system there is a some uh, i can i will try to anyhow i will try to give you the uh, example to upload the logo in the system i will show you that also so the logo basically what we are doing we are uploading a logo into the system there is a two thing either you can if you want to upload the logo in a black and white form so you can upload the logo in the black and white form if you want to upload a color logo just like here in the back side you see you can see that this is a color logo so here you can upload a color logo also this is the facility in the sap in which um, way you want to add so there is a two thing you can define your logo you can upload your logo and if you want black and white or color logo whatever you want and the third is size size of the logo how much size you want according to that see there is a two thing first we need to check the size of the logo window this is the logo window here so first we have to recognize the size of the logo window if the size is 2 by 2 my means a 2 cent 2 uh, mm from here or 2 meter from la, length is 2 meter and width is 2 mm so 2 by 2 uh, size uh, almost 4 uh, square meter 4 square millimeter so uh, more not more than 4 square millimeter or 4 square centimeter whatever the size is there we cannot upload the logo more than that size so uh, when you are getting a logo from your team member or from the customer so you need to uh, do modification in the logo my mean to say you need to cut the size of the logo or you need to fit uh, the logo according to the window size so in in this case we have to uh, my mean to say cut and uh, uh, we need to make the logo according to the window size or we need to create again create a logo or we need to cut the size of the whatever you want you can do according to the size of the logo it so that it can fit in the in the uh, window of the logo then we have an address we have logo then we have a main main uh, window you can see over here this is the main window it is showing over here this is the main window in the main window there is lot of thing we can do initially they have written the intro form of the address successor node of this is a successor node of the logo you can see that main logo is a successor node uh, so you can see that info information of uh, sender you can see that information from the sender so here is the same thing here the same thing we are going to do whatever we have done in the address window the same thing we are doing in the uh, intro form of the address in which 
we are <coughs> fetching the data uh, with the help of SQL query. We are fetching the data uh, from of that particular um, uh, sender, and uh, we will declare the again so, uh, some variable in the global definition, and we are going to uh, execute. Uh, we are going to fit the. Uh, we are check the size of the window over here. For that, we can keep our address. Then we we can see that. Uh, there, there is a, some general attributes. In the general attributes, we are, we are writing name of our smart form and the description. Whatever the description, if you want to do, see um, description. Most of the time, it will given by the functional consultant. The uh, if it is related with the basically it's invoice. It is related with the sales side, sales and distribution. So SD SD is functional consultant, sales and distribution functional consultant. Give you the invoice. Uh, it give you the uh, he will give you the description. What the description he uh, want? He will communicate. He will directly communicate with the user or customer, and he will give you the description. Basically, what happens? See, actually, a developer uh, very few time directly communicate with the customer or end user. Basically, there is a layer between. Uh, you can say there is a middleware uh, between uh, a developer or the customer. Which which middleware is called the functional consultant. The functional consultant basically what they will do they will directly communicate because they have a business knowledge. So they what they will do they will directly communicate with the functional uh, sorry customer and they will getting a feedback from the customer regarding what exactly the name they want of the smart form and what exactly the description they want. They want the just like invoice of a, a particular material or if invoice of a particular company code for com particular company. So they will give you a description according to that. So they will provide you each and every thing, thing, thing. So here we don't need to use our own mind in these two cases, what name and description, because they these things have been given by the customer itself, and it will give you given you by the your uh, what you call your uh, functional consultant. And we have uh, some other things over here. See active when you are going to click this button. When you are going to click this button, the form, your uh, smart form showing it is active, which is showing over here. So it is active smart form. So now you can process further. So it will show you the status. This is the status. It is showing you the status of the smart form. It is showing the active means your smart form is active. There is no error. You can further proceed. So there is something which is called general attributes and output options. We will show here the general attributes. It will show you the creation or change information in the general attributes. Uh, it will show you the how to uh, about the creation information, how when it is created, who it is created. Uh, it will give you the date and time, the person who has created the each and everything. It will provide you the package. Second thing, the package. See, whenever you creating any object, we are call, calling basically in our own terms, we are calling it objects. So when you are creating any objects, I mean to say any smart form, any script, sorry, forget script, smart form, report, or any table. So we need to put that smart form or report or uh, table in package. Package in the sense, uh, see basically uh, when uh, whenever you uh, getting something, you are getting when you purchasing something from any store. Obviously there is some carry back. You have to take some carry. If you are purchasing some fruits from a, a store, obviously they will uh, the because uh, the shopkeeper will give you this some carry back in which you are carry your uh, articles or your whatever you want, what you are going to purchase. The same way here we have a package. Package what it will do? It will store the changes of. Uh, or creation of this uh, this object into this package. So basically, we are creating a package. Uh, so for each and every thing, for each and every object, there has been decided uh, package. Just like uh, whatever. Sometimes there is a customer specific package. There is a module specific package, or there is a some standard package uh, which we are creating and we are. Which we are creating and we are adding our information. Here you can see the package is a connect package something related to the connection to the transport organization. 
here in the package. So what we are doing, we are creating a package and we are keeping our data over in this uh, object on that package. Then we have a language. See, language. First of all, uh, there is a, see, in the smart form, you can create a smart form in a multiple language. My mind is, uh, you can create in English, you can create in Turkey, you can create in French, German, uh, some other language if you want to create, you can create. So there is a facility in the smart form and SAP script that you can create the, these things in a multiple languages. The form you can create in a multiple language. Suppose you have a customer in some other countries, just like you have a customer in French or Germany and they don't understand English properly. So what the customer required that you can create this smart form, but I want to create in the German. So they will they will give you uh, basically we don't uh, need to write the name and name in the German. Basically, it is in English, but description maybe you can reuse uh, the German language and other things just like you can see over here the address, the sender address, the address of here. These things should be in the German and the main window where we are putting our uh, reference material number, material name and all the things might be in general and the form in the below what we have which is called here yeah, footer you can see that footer uh, not here exactly there is a one footer one second I will show you the footer also this is the footer in the footer we are giving you some notification and all the things so here the footer also you can you need to write in the German form so they will give you that uh, in the, just like in English we are giving some notes or terms and condition in the German or French some there is something other so you have to write in the German each and everything in the German so they will they will give you my means the customer will provide you each and everything what we need to write in the German form basically in in, uh, in English our uh, what do you call something in the journal there is a lot of thing uh, in the French there is a lot of thing uh, the name of the French person is there is a, some some kind of I can say that some special character have been used which is not in our uh, I can say that we, we don't know how to write that uh, special character for the, of the particular name so basically they will give you and you have to copy and paste you don't need to use our own keyboard and you need to write don't do this you directly take and copy and paste that's it so you here you can see that translate in all languages in selected languages do not translate there is an option if you want to translate in the all languages you can translate if you want only in English you can put only in English if you want do not trans translate so you have an option over here so if we have seen these we have find this facility in the SAP smart form so that's why the company is looking for this kind of because what happened if we are uh, we have a, we are in, in the multinational company it is not possible to each and every time create the invoice or SS, sales memo or whatever uh, David memo credit memo in the each and every time they will go and type in the word and they keep our one resource busy for this so what it is a very easy way to fetch the data from the directly from the system there is no need to think a single time you need to only write the customer name and uh, it will directly fetch the data from the system so you can see that this is these are the facility provided by the SAP itself so most of the company you uh, utilizing this kind of uh, facility so that they can give the proper solution to the their customer next so the in the output option we can see that uh, in the output options we have seen the general attributes over here these are the general attributes then we have output option in the output option you can see that we have a page format so page format whatever whatever the page format you want according to that you can set your page format my mind to say you if you are right start with the left alignment or um, uh, middle alignment or right alignment so you can write according to that uh, your uh, see here you can see that see this is the alignment so you can see that the we have started there have been taken from the left alignment so you can see that these are uh, entirely same you can see that so left gap for each and every window is same and the same side you can see the right side also the same gap you cannot find that the main window come uh, uh, back side and information window go to the right side this is not happening 
if this is happening then again we need to understood where we are getting alignment issue and again we go inside the smartphone where we're going to solve the issue so you can see that <clears throat> over here the page format then character per inch see there is the option <coughs> in the smartphone how you write the character in one millimeter or one centimeter according to that you can write your uh, character so we have to choose then we have a lines per inch how many lines come so uh, if you want a thick line or very uh, thin line so according to the king then we have a style we have seen in the oh, here see there is a style so in which style you want your text so you can choose your own style if you want to create your uh, if you want to create your own style so there is an option so you can create your own style in which uh, you can give you italic see there is an option inside this style when you go to create this style there is an option you want to bold and italic you want to helvic you want to in which tag in which way you want to text so you can do according to that so here they have shown you the style then xml output if you want to give <coughs> if you want in the xml output you can give the xml output it will should give you the xml output also it will give you the data in the xml output also so there is no issue at all you can give whatever the way you want so you can see that here we have a pages you can see that we have a pages over here so we have a different different kind of pages we have a pages and you know, first window is called pages and window you can see that <clears throat> top page in the three first page is a document see the top page this is the top page we have a document over here so we have address one of the company then we have a logo window in which we have <coughs> putting our logo we have address one for address we have a main 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 window in which we are giving our description of the material and all then we have info clerk in the info clerk we can see that we are giving the information about the you can see that we are giving here the info window this is the info window where we are giving you information about your uh, uh, material and all whatever the information if you want to give then we have a next next page see uh, might be the invoice is not completed in a single page might be you need to use some uh, one uh, another page or some another page so that time so that time we are basically using the next page in which <coughs> the next document will come next uh, if you if you, it is not uh, completed in the single page then there is lot of material uh, not able to complete in a single page then we are using the next page so the information will go into the next page and it will shown over here then we have a terms general condition of the business basically we are using in the footer this is technical name a to z 0 to 9 and these the description is there so terms and condition basically we are using footer <coughs> whatever if you want there is option create cut copy paste delete expand and collapse so expand when you're going to click over here in the next it will expand just like here they have click on the first page window it is expand again if you want to expand you can use this main window it will click on here it will again expand info clerk if you are going to click over here it will again expand next next page if you are going to click over here it will expand so this is the way you can expand your window and terms general terms of a business so in the general terms of a business if you are going to click over here it will expand so it will give you your technical name a to z 0 to 9 whatever you want so this is the way technical name you can give over here and you can description give the description just like we have given here terms because in the footer most of the time we need it terms terms and conditions so we have given the value of terms over here terms and the general terms of a business whatever the business is using my mind is a customer using some terms and condition in the business so the terms and condition we are writing over here so there is a again uh, i am asking that uh, here we again we are we can use some variable and we can directly put terms and condition in this variable and it will the variable should be shown in the global settings and it will directly give the result in the output so this is the way 
entire pages we are setting over here the entire page we are setting over here the pages different different pages top page so i have told you see there is not required that a uh, company can accommodate or can be complete in uh, their invoice and their work in a single page so might be one page the next page next page in the same second page then again there is a page might be third page is also required then again we can use the next page so this is the way you can uh, working continuously with so there is no need each and every time come in the system and again create a new page so it will automatically take those things so this is the pages in the form and document you can see that so first page the next page and uh, see the pages in forms and documents see this is the first page you can see that i have shown you so here we have a sender address customer address we have address or customer we have a main window over here in the main window we can see that we are writing each and everything about the material and all we have a logo we have a information window in which give you the information and all then the static page window we have some static page window over here in the next page window it is a static page window it's just like a main window here you <coughs> need to do nothing just you have to see that whatever the data is there so whatever the data you need to put in the second page you can put over here my mind is the company want that uh, my data is not fitting in the first page so uh, they required a second page also so what the we will do we will create a second page and we'll take the uh, uh, data in the second page then we have a terms and dynamic dynamic page it will come dynamically next page if they have some terms and condition suppose first and second page has been completed now now the company want some uh, terms and condition to give to the customer and the vendor so they will uh, they require some more pages so it will dynamic dynamically come and it will write all the information over here so you can see that first page this is your first page document in which you have a, a sender name and customer name and their material and all the description the information and logo then the second page again these thing information has not been completed the again third page because information has not been completed the again fourth page and here are some terms and condition so you can see that uh, a company is not able to complete their requirement in a single page so we they have used 1 2 3 4 5 five, almost 5 five pages so company has this kind of, will get the this kind of scenario in the smart home but the same thing if you are going to write in the i can say that if you are going to same thing if you are going to write in the word so it is very too difficult it will become too difficult a too tedious job to so sit uh, uh, you need to ask one employee they <coughs> he or she will be sit uh, in the system and <coughs> she will use she has to, she has to continuously write uh, you start writing the pages and all the things so this, you can see that so this is the very easy way uh, to work on the customer side so you can see that this is the very easiest way i can say that so it is not a tedious job in a single command in a single command you will get each and everything on time on uh, on the requirement see again there is a few things uh, we have seen that uh, the first page this is the first page and their description there is some attributes obviously the <coughs> first page and their attributes so this is the first page and first page their attributes there is the general attributes output options and background picture there is a three thing background picture in the sense water printing sometimes a company want their name should be print on each and every page of the invoice so that time we are using background picture which is called water printing it will come um, in the background uh, it will come their company name with some logo if they want to give the logo and it will come with the logo and what uh, what the all the printing material on the printing thing it will be print over the name of the company so background printing a uh, background picture is required some companies is not required by the each and every company but some company required that in each and every invoice or each and every sales documents or each and every customer debit memo credit card memo their name should be appear in so this is the way you can do 
<coughs> sorry we have a general attributes for the first page so you can see that in the general attribute what we are doing first we are writing the next page the next page then we have a numbering format format mode in which way you want to print the pages and obviously when you are printing the pages see in the previous slide we have sorry in the previous slide we have seen that there is a number of pages so obviously we required the number of pages so we required number 1 2 3 4 5 5 pages in their top left side or right side left side or right side so in which way you required the numbering so this is the format either you required 1 2 3 4 this is the roman in the roman form or ka abc or abc in which form you required the number format it will showing over here then we have a initialized counter mode if you want to initialize the counter then we have initialize counter increase counter leave counter unchanged and page and overall page unchanged in which way you want you can give over here <clears throat> you in which way you want you can give over here so we have initialize counter increase counter leave counter unchanged and page and overall page unchanged then we have a output option in the output option you can see that we have a page orientation resource name and or print mode so we have a page or in the resource name we can give try 01 try 03 try 0, what what are the resource they want to then we have a print mode in which mode they want to print they want the simple default print mode if they have a default print mode so they can use that default if they have their simplex then simplex if they have they have duplex duplex in the sense it will print twice my mind to say when the first page has been print then it will again go inside the printer and will print other side then triplet triple m triple b means one page gone come then second third page again gone this is the way they can print the entire page so this is the output option and general attributes of a page attributes then we have a background picture what i have shown you this is the background picture so in the background picture we have a general attribute output option and background picture so uh, the, see from graphic it is from graphic administration so what i will do i will i have taken watermark basically watermark you can you need to create so whatever you need to do you need to fetch the watermark over here you need to fetch the watermark we need to graphics or bitmap bmap if you want in a see there is a different different way you can give your uh, background picture black and white color bitmap image or uh, determine dynamically <coughs> so here you can see that we have a black and white images then we have a colored bitmap images so what i will do i have taken the black and white bitmap images so i have taken the because the customer want that their logo is black and white so what they want their name and the company name is whatever the company name is black and white or logo name is black and white so what the customer want that uh, the watermark which come uh, background of my invoice or my sd or my sales memo or credit memo i want that in the black and white image only because my uh, company uh, logo is black and white so that's why i'm looking for black and white color so we have chosen a black and white so it is a we have uploaded the watermark we have given the object graphics bitmap id bmap it is bitmap then we have uh, chosen this then we have a uh, some uh output attribute over here in which we have to give resolution the resolution in the sense uh it will <clears throat> it will uh, giving giving you the resolution of how how much uh, uh, uh my means area should be covered in the uh your uh, in the printing so it will give you 75 or 100 according to the requirement and here print out required which mode you required we have seen the three mode over here we have seen the three mode in the last see print mode we have seen simplex duplex and tumble so which mode you required you can give over there is a option so you can choose or option and you can give then we have a position also in which position you want horizontally or vertically according to that you can choose so this is the way you can give your uh, watermark or uh, from the background of a uh, your uh, i can say that uh, your invoice so you can see, you you have seen that this much of facility we are providing this much of facility we have uh, getting in the uh, sap and uh, you can see that this kind of facility 
obviously it will take uh, if you want to give in the simple word pad so it is too difficult so because if you, you need to give some watermark so you need to obviously you need to set some print uh, for the watermark in your uh, uh, i can say that in your uh, system so it is little bit difficult not that much difficult but little bit difficult because in the sap it is very easier way you can do but in the same way if you are uh, manually <coughs> writing your invoice so it is it will take a tedious job it's a tedious job and it will very tough so it is a very simple way you can write these things in the sap then you can see the page structure and output areas page structure and output areas we can see that the same thing <clears throat> see the navigation tree we have a taken page and windows the first page address we have address 1 so you can see that address 1 over here atlanta fly and smile 4 trunky way 1 2 4 5 6 it is atlanta so we have uh, written over here then we have a logo window so this logo is showing over here the invoice which is main uh, info yeah this is the info clerk this is the clerk name and their telephone number or fax which is the invoice part so this is uh, we have gotten, uh, we have given here and it is showing printing over here. So what I, I will show you one thing. These part, my mind, so these part has not been taken care by the user. These part has been taken care by the developer only. They don't know what exactly going, what exactly, see, they, uh, they, they can see the output. They will find the output. This is the output. They will going to print this document. They are not going to. They don't. They don't know what going behind. How much effort we are putting to get this. So this is the only thing which we uh, which has been taken care by the developer. So this part has been taken care by the developer, and this part has been directly go to the user. So you can see that these all the things. These all the things. Dear sir, madam, we confirm your booking as follows: uh, flight, route, and price. So you can see that flight AA number. This is the flight number entirely. This is the route. New York to SFO, price 799 USD and FFO 064, uh, 0064 SFO to New York. So it is 829 USD. You are thankfully uh, February. Ke, February. This is your uh, in uh, what is it called clock name. So this is the uh, I can say that this is the a, a kind of uh, ticket. Uh, ticket it will has been generated through the SAP. You can see that this is the ticket has been generated to the SAP over here. So this is this is the so uh, again I'm asking this part has not been taken care by the uh, user. This they don't know what's going behind. They only want these things. They only want these things. So these things have been printing through the entire SAP uh, smartphone. So you can see that this is the way you can print your. <coughs> uh, I can see that. Uh, any ticket or any sales document or anything whatever you want you can see that each and everything you whatever you want you have designed you have given the logo of the company you have given the uh, clerk name with the telephone number and fax you have given the uh, company address you have given some kind of uh, I can say addressing point over here how to address your uh, customer and you have given the each and everything flight their route and their price and your signature over so uh, there is one more option that you can give you uh, there is no need to write uh, signature you can directly give you the digital signature over here so at the time of printing there is no need you can directly send the mail to the customer these things you can directly send to the, your customer and you can digital, digitally sign over here and you can directly send to the customer. If you want to send through post then obviously you can sign. So uh, SAP provide you this kind of facility which is not in the uh, simple uh, if you are going to print this thing in a word it is too difficult to give you the digital signature over here. You need to cut and paste. But in the SAP you can directly uh, give you the digital signature over here and you can directly send this through mail to your customer. So this is all the way, see, again I'm asking, this is the uh, uh, customer only interested in this part. Company, if I'm working, uh, if uh, I'm implementing the invoices for a uh, fly and smile company, so company do not bother whatever, what, uh, what you are doing in the background. I am basically bothered about these things. I like this, 
I'm 100% sure that you can go ahead. So if I'm getting some issue, if my invoice part is overlapping with this or this is somewhere it is uh, running, it is not in uh, alignment, it is 7.19 and going down and 8.19 and again down. So uh, again, we have to ask that uh, alignment part is an issue again. There is one more thing. If you want, you can give your total over here. They have not given you. So you can write, you can add these things and you can give you the total amount. This is the total amount <coughs> you need to pay it to the company. So you can see the page is structured with output area. So how it is uh, running. So we have a first page in window. We have first page. Then we have a main page over here. You can see the intro form of the address. Same name and same content what over here. So this is you can see that the two main window. You can see the two main window have we have created. See, uh, there is one more thing I want to uh, tell you over here. Uh, we are going to learn uh, again after this smart form. There is one another concept which have been used for printing the SAP, which is called uh, print for printing, which is called SAP script. A script. There is uh, you cannot create a multiple window in the script, but in the smart form, you can create a multiple window. You can create a multiple window in a smart form. You can see there is a two window, but it is not possible in the script. When you are going to uh, learn the script, I will show you either it is not possible to create a two win main window in the SAP script. So you can see that the two main window we have created with the same name and same content. And we have a sub node of main, which is intro form of the address. We are intro form of the address. Then we can uh, we have a facility of drag and drop over here with the help of uh, mouse you can drag and drop if you want to these things should become over here so you can drag this thing you can it it will come under again this so there is no need to create again again two main window you can drag and drop you can drag from main window and you can directly drop over here so it is the kind of facility SAP providing you to uh, to understand the to understand the things over here so uh, so you can also drag and drop in the same main window so you can see that here you can see over here we have a output the main window and secondary window this is the main window you can see that the, this is the main window of the thing here I have shown you the company name fly and smile and their address company logo their invoices their clerk and you here you can see that the address of the customer where we want to send the invoice so this is the address of the customer turn around INC 145 Apple Valley Lane Ithaca New York so you can see that they have given you the uh, customer company address customer address and their invoice and here they have given the details just like dear sir we would like to confirm the following book is flight number and flight uh, flight number and seat number flight number flight sorry flight number these are these are the flight number route and price you can see the route and price and the page one this is the page one. then again there is a page two Be because they have there is some another ticket also which in SIN to France France to send you can see that there is another charges over here so you can see that uh, when the I have told you when the information is not completed in the single window uh, so that time we are adding one another window for com complete the information so this is the way we are completing the information might be some companies are not able to complete more information in two windows or we are looking for third window third page so there is lot of page we can create not even one two or three we can get number of pages over here so at least we can complete the requirement of the customer you can see this is the main area you can see this is the main area this is the main area of the customer so here you can see the main area this is the main area of the customer over here here this is the main area of the customer here uh, the customer uh, will give you the see this is the tabular form you can see this is the tabular form so com customer uh, required this in the tabular form or <coughs> <coughs> in which form they require they will give you the requirement and according to that you have to create the customer requirement you can see over here there is a flight route and price 
तो फ्लाइट रूट एंड प्राइस इफ द कस्टमर नो आई वॉन्ट हियर वन अनदर टेबल फॉर्म सो यू नीड टू क्रिएट वन मोर टेबल फॉर्म एंड यू नीड टू बेसिकली दिस कैन बी हैपन यू कैन कैलकुलेट द साइज माई मीन इज कैलकुलेट द कैरेक्टर जिस लाइक वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन आफ्टर सेवन बिकॉज दे आर थिंग दैट दे हैव फिक्स दैट द फ्लाइट नेम शुड बी सेवन कैरेक्टर फ्लाइट नेम शुड बी सेवन कैरेक्टर सो आफ्टर सेवन इफ द फ्लाइट नेम इज फिक्स देन यू हैव टू गिव वन कॉलम ओवर वन और वर्टिकल रो वर्टिकल लाइन वर्टिकल लाइन ओवर हियर so you can see that you need to give one vertical line over here and again one vertical vertical line over here so here you can see that two vertical line two vertical line you can give over here it is a possibility that you can give two vertical line over here so that if the customer is required to one more vertical line so you can give one more vertical vertical line over here so this is the way you can give the uh, you can check the requirement of the customer here i can say that again here they want some some more requirement has come that here they want to give some note or terms and condition so here they can give you some note or terms and terms and condition over here they can give you some terms and condition in the second page again they want to give some more terms and condition or some something more which is a requirement has come so you can use some third page in the third page again you can give some more requirement next main window this we have done so now come to the main window what exactly the main window and window attributes see we have seen the first window now we are going to check the main window in the main window we have a general attributes output option and condition see in the main window we have a general attribute output option condition in the main window we can see that we have a main window we can check this is the check option which i have already told you in the initial <coughs> at the starting time this is the check and we have a here also we have one activate button which is not showing over here so in the main window this is showing the uh, in the general attribute is showing the main window then we have output option in the output option we are showing the position and size and the box and shading in how you uh, looking for see in the box and shading we can give over here this is the box basically we are creating over here and shade what shade you required so this is the box and shading in the main option and the condition field comparison events whatever you want if you want to create some events that it uh, that uh, <clears throat> that after i can say that after this wording this should become so here you can write event according to that in the event again we need to write some code so that we will fetch the data from the table this is basically data is coming from the table so again we need in the events we need to some code with the help of that we are fetching the data so we have a field comparison over here also and if uh, while writing the while creating the main window if you are going to check this if you are getting some error so it will give you the your type of it there your node in which node you are getting is just like here you are getting a error in the node window so you are getting error uh, to, so they have given you the main error what exactly the error that window main does not fit on the page width so you can see that the error is uh, given window main does not fit on the page so we have to think that our page size is a4 and our window size is small uh, greater than the a4 size then again we have to go inside the attributes and there we need to change our window size so in the when we are going to change our window size it will fit on the window so it will not showing this error in the future next then window output option so we have a output option also see you can see that this is the alignment what uh, we can uh, what the customer is expecting basically output option we have a top margin here you can see the top margin we have a left margin so i have told you initially the whatever the left margin you need to choose it should be aligned from top to bottom from uh, right side also if you are going to check uh, right margin it should be aligned from top to bottom then we have a top margin you can see the top margin then we have a q uh, this is uh, the same flight number from where to where you need to go the tariff price 
so you can see that we have a bifurcation over, over here and the what is the width of the leaf we need to decide we need to check how much character is there see you can see that there is a we, we need to count the character just like seven for uh, flight details and three and four five six seven eight eight for this uh, from where to where and for the uh, this and uh, we need to check how much character it is occupied and according to that we will create the width of the window then if you want to do the shape it's just like if i have given you the number of uh, the page number one two three so if you want to give the shade in the page number then you can also give the shade into the page number this is the height of the window over here then we have a line width line width in the sense the width of two point capacity of 2 mm shading 10 percent always draw so you can see that we have a created word line width over here in which whatever the uh, current offsets are just like http colon high fly and smile.com they have given you the company address over here, company website over here so you can also give you can create your own uh, one window small window and uh, inside the window you can create one box in the box you can give you current uh, offers at the fly and smile if the uh, suppose uh, this is the kind of advertisement this is something related to the marketing advertisement if you want uh, each and uh, the company what the company is doing when this is, they are sending the invoice to the customer so what they are doing they are giving the their address also they have, there is some offer is going on in the future or current so that they can opt those option also so this is the way it is windows fitting then we have a form painter over here see form painter we have seen over here a long this is the form painter when you're going to click this a uh, window will pop up this is the window it will pop up and it will show you the form painter so you can see over here form painter this is the form painter this is the form painter so here you can see that we have a toolbar with the help of toolbar you can easily align your left side right side or uh, width whatever you want we have a sender we have a sender uh, where you can fetch data for the sender we have address we have a logo for its uh, fly and smile we have an intro part we can see the intro we have a ruler you can see the ruler we have a when window this is a grid grid means you can up and down we have a sizing you can handle a size from here you can see that size again these can be done with the help of your mouse so you can create cut and paste copy delete uh, into background help so you can check it out all the things of the form pattern with the help of either directly uh, with the help of your node or my mind is a toolbar or you can easily handle with the help of your mouse so you can see that there is a lot of option uh, we can see that in the smartphone which basically it is not there when you're going to create manually anything invoice or some debit memo credit memo anything if you want to create it is not possible for uh, in the uh, i can say that in the word form manually when you're going to create so that's why most of the company when they are implementing sap so they prefer to take the advantages of the smartphone because it is easy for them to print their uh, whatever the print re printing requirement it is something related to the printing requirement so it is very easy for them to understand the printing uh, of the anything just like a smartphone script or whatever they want they, they can use these kind of facility and they can easily understand uh, they can easily tell their requirement to the um, I mean, say implementer or implement uh, at the time of implementation so whatever the requirement they will need it if it is possible in the sap they can provide you then you can see the form printer settings so in the form printer settings we have a different different menu in the toolbar we have a uh, detached toolbar we have draw window you can draw window if you want you can draw the window from here <coughs> if you know the size if you know the size you can directly drag this window and you can draw uh, you can directly create uh, in the form then we have auto uh, uh, zoom 
over here which is automatically up uh, zooming which is you can see that 50 percent and the zoom in zoom out we have a facility over here then we have alignment you can see the alignment with the grid you can alignment with the grid if you want align your form painter with the grid you can we have a grid we have a main grid over here main grid is in the sense you can dark your you can say one second i will show you that see this is the uh, main grid where you can dark your grid over here and inside this if you want to create some small grid you can that facility is also this is the grid this is the main grid we have a ruler if you want to create some ruler so, so the same thing whatever you will get in the word the same thing you will get over here in the form painter also so it is easy for you to write down or uh, take down each and everything then we have a tracker uh, then we have some other thing over here which is called tracker which is basically general grid main grid ruler tracker and zoom so tracker with the help of that we can form uh, in which way you want just like in we want to form painter with 3d frame align window with grid draw window transparent window crosshair which way you want you can give with the help of tracker <coughs> tracker so this is the way again we have a over here you can see activation and testing form now you have done each and everything now you want to do activate and test your form because see before uh, delivering anything to the customer our first requirement our first requirement to check the form itself by us uh, there is a three way of testing in the uh, uh, in the sap first has test has been done by the developer itself second test has been done by the functional which is we have done called with the middleware and the third uh, testing has been done by finally by the user itself if user has given you the green signal then there is no issue we can go ahead if the user do not uh, fulfill you satisfied with your uh, output i can say the output then that time you need to again come in into the sap and you need to check what exactly the requirement has been done if they want no no i'm not satisfied uh, the fly and smile the logo is coming over here i want this logo should become over here and then that time you need to what uh, you need to do again you need to do alignment and you need to put this logo here so the size of the right alignment should be less so you need to ask how much alignment do you need from the right side uh, uh, to the user and then they um, he or she will give you the exactly the alignment from the right side then that time you need to put this over here over there and you can see that again we have a uh, they want to test print they want some they want to change some uh, requirement to say written text over here so they have a right that i am not looking uh, comfortable with this uh, text and i want to some different text so they will give you the requirement over there and they will uh, ask you to change anytime so these are the few buttons uh, in the menu which is first is a check button uh, with the help of that we can check that there is some error is coming in your smart form if the error is coming then we need to rectify the error and we need to sort sort out that error then second is activate this is activating so you can activate this smart form with the help of this and after that you have a this button which is called executable execute this is basically used to execute the a smart form or test your smart form so uh, if you do not want to use this then you can use f8 f8 it basically is also is directly execute your smart form and this is the button also uh, and basically this is in a smart form somewhere this is showing a, a wall clock kind of thing it is also f8 and this is also the effort so you you after effort it will show you this so this is the way check then activate then effort which is execute then after that it will show you this the print out this is the exactly way this is the exactly way it is showing over here so test print without data selection so this is the test printing then we have a form elements what the elements we have we will going to learn over, we will check or check out over here so we have a text which is first page then we have a main main window intro form of the address we have intro form we have seen the these many 
<coughs> sub sub window inside a main window we have enter form of address booking booking table greetings greeting form footer we have end of page board executing board bank bank details so each and everything uh, uh, footer in the footer you can see that see sometimes what happen uh, in the basically it is showing the ticket in the ticket uh, booking uh, we need to pay advance then only you can book the ticket but sometimes uh, what happen in the business uh, where the customer and uh, you are handling customer or vendor that time what happen uh, sometimes you need to pay uh, just like if you have uh, purchases of, of uh, material of uh, suppose 1000 that time you need to pay something in advance and something after reaching the material or after reaching the material you need to pay so what the vendor will do or the vendor will do he, they they will give you the details of their bank they will give you details of their bank and you need to transfer amount in their bank directly. There's no need to give the check and all the things because now the uh, now the now everyone looking for digital things. So e-money e, e kind of thing. So what they have given you, they have given you the bank details in their invoices itself. So you need to just transfer the money into their account. So, uh, so whatever the... <coughs> so what the... Uh, when uh, vendor has done they have given in the footer in the footer they have given the details of your the bank details and they have written then please transfer the amount within a week within a one week to given bank details like that they have asked you and they you need to transfer the amount in their bank details see the, again we are uh, running the flight so we have a text again we have one attribute text node which is flight so again flights there is a general attributes beginning new paragraph new line append directly so this is the general attribute in the uh, flight text or flight uh, window over here the text type is text element text model include text these things are there then we have a output option in the box and shading watch kind of, uh, in if you require a box if you require a shading or a style if you want some uh, specific style if you want a page protection, you can also use the page protection in the sense uh, it will complete your work in a one page. It will not go beyond the one page. Then we have a condition, field comparison, events. Again, the same thing what we have seen in the last. The same thing you can see. Sorry, one second. See the condition, field comparison, events. The same thing what we have seen in the main window. Same thing it is showing in the <coughs> same thing showing in the flight window. So uh, after that it will show you the output like this. The same thing. Then we have a linking text attributes. In the linking text attributes you can see that uh, when you are creating a new paragraph or new line or append directly. So there is a left first of uh, first of all we need to see it is left alignment or right alignment it is a left alignment or a single line <coughs> so we require immediate payment of the outstanding amount if, see if the one that we require imme immediate payment of the outstanding amount in the notes they have written so from there they want they want in a bold or they want in a uh, after the right, written this line they want some uh, underline over there or they want this should be written in the box whatever the way they want we need to write so it is basically they have written left alignment or single line so we need to write if you have settled the invoice in the meanwhile we ask you something the, whatever they want they, you can write over there it is a centered 1.5 line spacing see this is the center this is the left alignment you, see, you can see this is the left alignment and this is the center alignment with the 1.5 line spacing it is a left alignment a single line and this is a center alignment with one point line setting. So which way you want, my uh, uh, customer want according to that. Then again, left alignment with a single line and with left aligned, sing, left aligned single line, the same thing. It is showing the same thing, left aligned with a single line. And here you can see the left aligned single line over here. You can we require immediate payment of the outstanding amount. If you have settled the invoice in the meanwhile, meantime we ask you, so you can see that the same thing they have written over here in a single window here they have what they have used their user two boxes but here they have used only single box 
in the single box append they have appended uh, the two box in the uh, in the same uh, in the single box and they have shown you the output to the customer or vendor this is the way you can linking text notes <coughs> you can show your text notes see text element in the editor you can see this is a uh, basically uh, uh, in the window i have sh i have told you there is a two thing in the window one sub window for uh, coding part and one another sub window for uh, text or uh, variable declare the text or declare the variable so here where there is no need to be, uh, need to declare uh, either code or text uh, either variable so because we need directly some text so what we have done so full screen this is the full screen editor this is a clipboard in which cut copy paste and we have a find if you want to find this then we have a paragraph marker this is a paragraph marker which way you want so you can see that we have a paragraph format align 1.5 and character italics so what we have done we have written the aa0017 the flight name new york to san francisco is 1350 which is departure time it is usd and the total is 12987 usd we would appreciate immediate payment of the outstanding amount so you they have written that immediate they have given the they have asked that you need to put the underline so this is the way you can <coughs> you can declare your uh, foot part footprint or whatever the word if they want there something different they want this should be bold so you can do the bold if they want this should be in uh, some other format so you can some other format so whatever the way the customer want we need to create on the same way because we cannot use our own mind because these are something related with the legal uh, because something related with the invoice there is something related with the money so we cannot use our own mind whatever the way the customer want we need to create and we need to send this details for testing to the customer if the customer is satisfied that's it then we have to we will get appreciation after that obviously you can see that the formatting text the paragraph format here the there is three things see list depends on the style whatever the style you are going to uh, going to create work if you are going to create some their own style then you need to write over here left alignment 1.5 and display format paragraph display format and paragraph marker this is a display format this is the paragraph marker you can see that paragraph okay, italics so you can see that new york to san francisco and san francisco to new york and this is the timing and this is uh, <clears throat> or your amount and the total is they have asked you should be in bold so you have done bold and here you can see that k italics so it is a k italics we we will appreciate immediate payment of the outstanding man so you can see, compare back this is something different this is small and this is something it is i italics and this is k italics this is bold i italics and k, k italics so in which way they want they can use here you can see that they have used them taps which was not there so you can see the taps over there so this is the way you can do a different different uh, up and down and different different checking you can do whatever the way you want you can do over here see now for formatting text uh, character formats so here what they have done show paragraph marker and the same thing reset character format and display format the list depends on style what style you are looking for so this is the style what style are you looking for so the same way i have given the total but we would appreciate immediate payment of the outstanding amount what they have done only immediate they have done italics only immediate so that the when it will reach to the their customer so their mind should be directly reach on here that immediate payment they want a immediate payment so that's why they have used the word immediate highlighted and italic so that <coughs> they can easily get the payment the requirement when the requirement has been raised then they will easily get the payment on time next so we have a field list over here you can see that the we have a field list so we have some interface or in, import interface so 
see work area see work w underscore customer you can see that w a underscore customer over here they have declared a work area or you can see that they have declared some uh, work area over here in uh, work area in the sense it's the memory so here you can see that work area name is street and city there is three thing will come customer name customer street and customer city so these things they need to print out so what they have done mrs uh, mrs uh, mr mrs and company so what they have done basically this is the way we are declaring declaring our uh, variable over here in the smart form so we are using n percent work area customer hyphen name n percent then n percent work area customer hyphen street name street and city so street and n percent work area customer hyphen city so this is the three things we need to require name street and city so we have declared name street and city over here so you can see that so uh, it, it will showing or uh, how it is showing the output so you can see that mr mrs company plum is the name this is a street 15 porto uh, porto bello road porto bello road and this is the city this is the city how it is fetching from where it is coming we have written this and from where it is coming so it is coming directly from the table so we have seen the customer table there is a customer table which is called kna1 kna1 table basically used this is customer table so we, this is all the data is coming from the kna1 table the only you need to write this things and it will directly from, uh, after <coughs> you need to write, write these things and you need to fetch the data there is a one uh, before that you there is one more uh, <coughs> i can say tab or after this we need to require one more window sub window where we are writing our code in the code we are fetching the data from the kna1 table i just like select uh, name street and city from the kna1 into wa and uh, customer wa customer is nothing but we have we, we can declare one structure and after fetching the data in the name street and city we can declare or it will show directly over here so after that we, we can see the interface tables we have a global data we have a system fields these are the another so activating and testing form see th these are something which we require each and every time to declare into the system see so s y s f s y is nothing for system this is stand for system so system date dat date so always use n percent to declare any variable always remember in the smart form always we are using m percent to declare any variable so sfsy date is date sfsy time for time sfsy page the number of page current page current print page sfsy form pages so total number of pages in the document currently being edited sfsy job pages the total number of pages of the all document in the current print page requested then window name name of the current window it will show you the name of the current page as of sap web application server 6.10 we are using sfsy xsf which is indicator of access of task then copy count zero <clears throat> so copy counter zero equal to original one equal to first copy so sf is a copy count copy counter copy counter this copy counter one equal to original two is equal to first copy then username is equal to username the same thing so these things we need to remember these things we always need to remember because date time and page number basically these things we are declaring uh, might be we need to ask ask by the customer that i want uh, the date uh, when we when we are creating a invoice in the in in the top left corner top corner top right corner corner of the invoice we we want time we want time so again sfsy time top right, right corner and we want page so what we we are doing in the top corner suppose i will show you one thing here here in the top corner they want date time and number of pages so uh, so in first date today's date time when the time has been used to fetch the data and number of pages we need to write over here so these things we need to do over there then again editing fields in the text how to edit fields 
so here you can see that we can i have told you about the check button and there is another th three more button which is called delete change field and insert field so you can see that plus is always used for insert the field plus is always in sap always remember plus is always used for insert field and minus sign is always used for delete field or subtract field so we are using and the pencil sign this is the pencil sign always used for change the field so you can see over here we have a paragraph format left alignment and we have character format italics so mr mrs and company work area customer hyphen name name is the name of the customer then qa customer city then we they want customer name as well as for the customer city so we have using customer city <coughs> they have declared over here and then and town and sfs by time they have written see here they want to declare just like i have told you they want to declare time on the right side top corner so we have declared time over here if they want date so we can declare sfs by hyphen date over here and they want page so we can also write the page so when you are going to check this so it is showing that node error fill qa customer city unknown this is and qa customer city is unknown why it is unknown because we have not declared qa customer as a work area we have declared wa under customer hyphen uh, customer as a work area don't go for this i will want to show you over here something see we have declared our work area uh, wa customer wa customer wa customer for name street and city so wa customer but here what they have done they have used qa underscore customer so which we have not declared in the global interface so that's why it's showing an error the field qa customer hyphen city is unknown in place of qa customer city we need to write wa customer city then it will perfectly run then the town second it is uh, this is the error this is the warning red button is always error and yellow button is always warning warning in the sense you can run the program you can run the program there is no issue at all but at the time of error has come definitely you need to rectify the error then and only you can move ahead the filled town does not have a defined value what is asking you have written town over here t o w n but you did not declare the town what exactly is the meaning of town so this is asking what is town you did not declare so i we need to declare this town in the global interface then only it is recognized town over here so always remember whatever the variable you are going to take in the smart form here or here why it is not showing error for this because this is the system variable this is the system variable we have not we need don't need to declare this because system is easily recognized this because it is a system variable and town and wa customer city wa customer name is not a system variable so we need to declare these things in the top side my means a global interface so always remember so town we because we don't have declare town in the global interface that's why showing the error, uh, this warning message next so work area name <coughs> sap smart form this is the work area uh, name plus 4 5 this is a if you want to see just like there is uh see what uh, work area name you have declared sma smart form but you want only five character so sma rt it will showing the five character 1 2 3 4 5 it is showing the five character 4 5 so here you can see <coughs> this is called offset what is called this is called offset formatting option offset we call so fill plus 6 this is fill plus 6 fill offset means only four character fills here is 6 so six character field it will showing over here <coughs> field of 9 means output length here is 9 field of s suppress plus or minus sign field is less than display plus minus sign to the left of the number field is 8.2 which is decimal form so here 8 is output places 2 after decimal point field t which is thousand separator z z suppose reading zeros of number fill i i suppress 
output of initial value so field is r r is digest justified and field f is less than uh, uh, f is filler so replace less justified blanks with filler so it will what it will do <clears throat> if you if you written somewhere there is something which is come filler filler in this is space if the space is coming from the uh, left the left sides so what we need to do we need to use this command fill and person fill f filler and so it is what it will do it will replace left justify by banks with the filler it will put you the space over there so <coughs> so fill r which is right justified i for suppress output of initial this is all called the formatting option we have a formatting option in the sap smart form which is not there anyway you did not if you want only four if you want to uh, that only four character then obviously you have to write the four character then only you will get but here we have a facility we have different different kind of option with the help of that you can easily and uh, understand or you can easily find out the value then we have a text type text module or include text see uh, in the sap we have a facility for include text include text in the sense you do not want you do not want to uh, write your text directly into the sap so in this condition sap provide you the facility that you can use you can write uh, text in the standard text standard text uh, in the sap there is a one t code called so10 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 in Uh, there is a this is a text uh, field where you can write your own text you can write your own text and in the include sap has a facility to include that text so what sap will do sap will include that text in the <coughs> in the uh, here in the smart form and it will showing in the output so text type text module or include text the form 1 this is form 2 please settle invoice within a 14 days so this is a text so they want uh, we, we there is a two way either we can directly write down this text into sap or we can use the include text so xyz bank bank number uh, number 699799099555555 swift xyz dsm999 executive board chr sparson charon bishop this is the uh, they have given you the details and they given you the please settle invoice in 14 days and they will give you the bank details so with the help of that these all the things there is no need to write each and everything in the smartphone we can basically write these thing to the standard text and with the help of that we can pull the data from the standard text so this is text type text module or include text which is showing over here which is showing over here in the perfect way then we have a graphic administration in the graphic administration i have shown you se78 i have told you the uh, basically what happened uh, customer give you the <clears throat> their logo <coughs> one minute customer give you their logo and you need to uh, add that logo in the uh, your system you need to add that logo into your system and after that when you <clears throat> how you going to uh, feed your uh, the customer logo in your system so there is a command or uh, there is a code which is called se78 this is a t code transaction code se78 with the help of that you can basically uh, store the logo store the logo basically in your system so se78 uh, again there is a two thing in which format you want bitmap or tiff or in front end so there is a two format so you can use bitmap format or tiff format so you can add the logo in which uh, color you want in a black and white or color so on that system it will store in the system so graphic in the sap system so after that it will show you the this is the graphics either you want in graphics in the top side of top uh, in the invoice you want top side right corner or you want in the main window the same thing the two option you have over there whatever the option you want you can take so if you want in a top side of top right side of the so
so you can do according to that if you want in the main window you can use the main window <coughs> for that there is a two option whatever option you want to choose you can choose over here so again we have a graphic ad administrator too so this is the sa 78 basically this is the sa 78 when you're going to open the sa 78 this is a uh, view you are go going to get so there is an import option attribute and there's a print preview so what uh, you need to do you when you're going to um, upload any uh, logo into the sap then there is an import option we need to import the logo so it is showing in the graphics your uh, this is the your uh, logo name because it is in color so we have chosen the radio button of color so this is the, your logo name your logo name you need to choose anything and there is an option <clears throat> reside in the printer memory uh, reserve height automatically and compression so we have taken the reserve height automatically and it is stored in the graphics so in the future if you want to use same logo for just like uh, the initially they have using for invoices in the same logo if you want to use for debit memo that you can use same memo you want to use want to use in the credit memo you can use so these all thing uh, <clears throat> when you're going to upload the name of the what do you call these things uh, graphic when you're going to upload the logo of the graphic so you can use this logo anywhere anywhere in the system so you can see that this is we have logo this is the logo general attributes we have a logo over here my graphics uh, my object name is graphic id is equal to bitmap always remember then we have a colored bitmap Im image bcol so you can see that this logo has been uploaded this is a static logo and it is showing over here fly and smile this is the logo you can see that this is logo you can see this is the print preview you can see that there is an option for print preview you can see there is an option for preview when you're going to click in this option it will show you this logo how it is showing how it is look like so it was it is look like this again there is an option if you want to give size you can give, <coughs> give the resolution <coughs> you can give the resolution or in which resolution you want you require you can give so it will show you the resolution again uh, uh, again we can we need to check out that initially I have told you this logo either it is fit in our window or not if it's not fitting our window then we need to cut uh, we need to reduce the size of the logo and according to that we will need to fit this logo into the uh, in the uh, what do you call it? in the uh, invoice or a uh, smart form so data in forms you can see that there is a two this is the our smart form uh, you can see that the, this is the all the things address one address two logo info info window main window and footer so there is a two things data in forms we have using bookings carried carried id and system date so carried id in the sense <coughs> your uh, flight id this is the flight id and this is the date in which date you want to uh, print that flight id so uh, in the, in which date you want to print your uh, what in which you uh, you have created your uh, that uh, ticket so they have created in 16 11 11 6 2002 so they have given this 11 6 2002 so in india we are using basically mm dd y y y y but in, in the us they are using y y uh, sorry First, they are using <coughs> month mm dd y y y y. So this is the way they are using. So here I have shown you this is the system date. So it is not showing any error while you are writing the system date. So it will showing you directly your system date. But when you are writing uh, wa bookings hyphen bo uh, carried d, so for that you need to declare wa underscore booking in your global interface. Otherwise, it will give you the error because they don't know what exactly the meaning of this W underscore booking. They know about SFSY dates because this is system date. So this is uh, uh, predefined. I can say this is the predefined in the system. But these things are not defined in the system. They don't know what exactly the meaning of WA bookings hyphen carry. So these things you need to declare in the system initially itself. Then this is the first thing. This is the second printing. And this is the fourth data account type I 
count equal to one if you want to print number of times this is counter they have uses count type i and count equal to one starting with one then again one plus one one plus one one plus one like that then interface parameter one see the, we have a call function which is called smart form fm this is the function module which have a smart form function module there is a three thing we are only exporting the data then importing function then we have a tables then we are exceptions <coughs> see in the global setting in the form interface we have a these much of options we can import we can export we can there is a table option in which we can see the tables we have exceptions if we want to create some ex exceptions or events we we can create over here so form interface basically we can import also we can export also so there is a this much of facility in the form interface in the global settings when you uh, in the form interface these are the global settings there is one more option in the form uh, settings which is not shown over here which is called initialization in the initialization what we are doing i will show you uh, in the initialization what we are doing we have written w under go bookings but uh, we uh, system don't know what exactly the uh, w underscore bookings so what in the interface what we are doing we are writing the code in the code what we we will do uh, we are fetching the data for the customer from the uh, kna1 tables and we are storing all the data in the w underscore bookings so what i want to then if you, in the future i want to declare w underscore booking hyphen carry so we can directly declare over here so otherwise it will <coughs> It, we have declared these things but we did not put any data inside this so it will not showing any data just like here it is showing lh but because uh, we did not use sql query to fetch the data so it is not showing you lh over here so that's why we are using uh, we are there is one more option here which is called interface in which we are writing all the codes so till now we have read all the things almost uh, regarding the sap and we i am stopping over here because after that uh, we have a few more things which we are going to learn uh, till now we have done with the 44 and another 44 is there my mind is almost it is 90 so i am stopping over here um in the next class i am going to complete it out the smart form and we are going ahead with the sap script which is the same thing sap script nothing but uh, which is the same thing just like a smart form i have shown you the one difference is that in the sap script we have only <coughs> single window in the single window we need to write each and everything we don't uh, need uh, to use like a smart form we can drag and drop there is no facility of the drag and drop in the sap script we can only write the code we have a different different window the basically here we are not writing the word window but there we are writing the word window we have a page over there the first page second page each and everything like a smart form we have over but uh, basically as sap script is not using nowadays uh, most of the organization using a smart form now the advance is a pdf form which is called adobe form now come into the market and most of the organization are using smart form or adobe form sap script has been uh, now it is very few companies which is uh, running sap from last 8 to 10 years and they do not want to implement or upgrade ourselves they are using sap script itself now till now so uh, we have done lot of things in the smart form right now so uh, first things i want to tell you mm -hmm. so there is a few point points which i want you to be remember first the smart form basically used in the sap <coughs> to overcome 